Okay, you too. Kick. First, I'll read these comments, and then I'm gonna get back to y'all. Last topic of tonight. If you missed the other two, is the two videos you saw before this one. Okay. I just want to have two kids in my life. Okay, <laughs> nice. Okay, last video of the night. So, what I want to talk about is I am tired of being coddled. Okay? And this is what I mean. I've been fat for a long time. I lost some weight. Doesn't matter. Don't care about that. I'm not going to I'm going to quit bringing that up. I'm just going to not even tell people I've lost weight. I just want them to assume I'm as fat as I've ever been. Because as far as I'm concerned, I've started over. I'm not going to mention how much weight I've lost. Just assume I'm fat as heck. You can call me five, six. I don't give a F at all. Cool. Believe what you want to believe about my weight. If it's true, it's cool. If it's not cool, I want y'all to think I'm as unhealthy and as fat as possible. That's what I want y'all to think. And you're probably asking yourself why. Because I personally am tired of being coddled. Now, I don't mean go bully people. There's a the difference. That doesn't mean go bully people. I'm not telling you go to find fat creators and bully them. But what I am saying is for me personally, I don't need to be coddled. I know I'm fat. I know I'm out of shape and I've been working on it, but that's not an excuse. And as long as you see me fat on here, I'm fat. Okay. It doesn't matter what work I put in. Okay. I don't need to prove anything to y'all anymore. Um, this is all about me and my health because at the end of the day, if I die, you guys are not going to care. Maybe you'll care about me for a couple days, but I'll be gone out of everybody's memory. So I can only do this for myself. And I'm not trying to be morbid. I'm trying to be honest. Once again, that main character syndrome. I'm trying to work my way out of it. I know y'all don't really care. Maybe y'all care a little bit. Maybe I have a few guys who care. But at the end of the day, if I die for my weight, <laughs> nobody's going to care. So the only person I need to be doing this for is me, my family, and especially God. Okay, so I'm tired of being coddled. Let me talk about this. I'm tired of being coddled because I don't think it helps. The more I continue to lie to myself and think that, oh, health is at every size, or I can be perfect the way I am, or I'm not fat, I'm not this, and men don't think, didn't think this way anyway, but nonetheless, I don't even want people to feel bad for me. I don't want to feel bad for myself. I just need to do the damn work. I don't need to be babied anymore. I don't need to baby myself. Either I'm going to drop the weight or I'm not. But I got to shut up and stop complaining about being fat because it ain't going to get me nowhere. I can't say, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that because I'm fat. No, you got a choice. Now, I can either say either five years from now, I can be like, man, I'm still fat and I'm still this. Or five years from now, I could have lost the weight. If I just put the work in today and I get to live another five years, maybe 50 years, I can look back and be like, man, I'm sure glad I put in the work then. So I got to enjoy these last few years, these last 10, 15 years of my life or whatever, you know, instead of saying, man, I wish I would have put in the work. So that's just, just, just something I'm thinking about. And, and what I've noticed is I don't think fat acceptance and fat phobia, it's not as big as y'all think it is um, because I used to make videos on those guys. I've talked to fat acceptance people fat phobia people and they're not in big numbers like that they're really not they're just small and because they're an outrageous group people listen to them because honestly a fat person who gets online and says i need to lose weight nobody cares but if a fat person gets on here and say, I'm big, I'm beautiful, I'm fat, like Lizzo, I want to be fat. Us fat people, <laughs> then you get attention. I don't think most fat people who say the stuff they say believe anything. Because I've met plenty of fat people in my life. And I can promise you, I don't see it. None of them think like, oh, I just want to get fatter. Or none of them think I'm healthy. What they all tell me is they can't do it. That's what they all say. They all like, I want to lose weight, but man, they are just... Really, I don't want it bad enough. At the end of the day, that's what is all true. It's even true for me. I could have been then lost that ex. I could have been then lost all the weight by now, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I didn't want to. I started coasting. I started giving up. Not giving up, but start thinking, man, this is hard work. I'm kind of tired. I kind of want to just chill. Not necessarily overeat and get crazy, but I just wanted to relax. And let me tell y'all something. If you are obese or fat like me, let me give you a, uh, a little warning here. If you think that eating whatever you want 
and just chilling all day is going to make you happier is not. Everybody knows the more obese you get, the more depressed you get. Because eating that processed food and eating all that bad food, it doesn't produce good chemicals. It doesn't. The bigger you are, the more stressed you get. It, it's all around bad. People who are obese tend to be more depressed. They don't get happier because they're fat. Okay. And I'm not saying this is like you should be sad, fat. But I am saying we've got to do better. You know, we've got to start accepting the fact that we messed up. A lot of people are over overweight. The vast majority of America is overweight and a lot of America is obese. So we just got to stop making the excuse and just put in the work. I'm starting to, I'm going to start. I'm, I'm starting to want to get competitive about it and be honest with you guys. I want to be in the top 30% of people who's not obese or overweight. I want to be in the top 30%. Because to me, it gives me so much more to do in life. I can go for a jog. I don't have to be a marathon runner, but I can go for a nice jog. I can go for a nice walk. I can go play basketball with my friends, maybe play a little football. I can go run around. You know, if I, you know, if I get older kids, I get kids one day and I want to be able to run around with my children. You know, I don't have to, I don't have to be as fast as them. I don't have to be as athletic as them, but I sure would hate to get to 45 and be like I'm 350 pounds and I got high blood pressure and I can't walk and I, I, my, my heart hurts when I I don't want to do all that man I don't want to take a million pills when I'm 45 I don't even my father who used to be a little bit overweight he got into his really once he got into his 60s he's 60 now so I want to say at the end of his 50s he even made that decision my dad went from being a kind of a chubby fat guy to skinny my, my father is small now he, he really ain't got no fat on and so i, I want to say one it's not never too late it's only too late after you die when you die then it's too late but you know as long as i got breath in my lungs and i still got a healthy body i think personally for me to be grateful for the body i have i gotta give and i gotta get back and take care of it for me to use and abuse this body and just be like, well i'm just gonna get fat as possible and just ruin it all because i want to eat food it's crazy to me, that's not a life of gratitude. And so I want to live my life with true gratitude. And so I don't no longer want to be babied. I don't need to be coddled. I don't need to be told I'm handsome. I don't need to be told I'm not fat. And I told a woman off at my work. I didn't tell her off. I didn't say it mean, but I'm, I'm always honest. She tells me I'm not fat. And I'm like, I'm fat. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? At the end of the day. When, when when some people say to me, Trey, you're not fat. Baby boy, look at me. I'm fat. That's not a body of a non-fat person. Are you crazy? Stop lying to me all the time. How, what is that going to do? What is that going to do for my health for you telling me I'm not fat when clearly I'm fatter than you and I'm fatter than everybody who's around me? What? Tell me, how does that help me? Who cares about my self-esteem if I die? Please just make that make sense to me. What are you helping me with? And I, I it makes me so, it makes me kind of angry because I want to kind of be like, man, man, F you, dude. I think you care about me less than anybody now. Because if you walk up to my face and lie straight to my face and tell me I'm not fat and I'm healthy, F you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. F you. Oh my gosh. If you ever, and I'm telling you this, now I'm not talking for every fat person, but if you come up to me and tell me I'm not fat and I'm healthy, F you, because I know for a fact you do not care about me and you don't care if I die. Because when I die for my health issues, especially if it relates to my weight, you ain't gonna be at that funeral. You're not gonna be there. Your life is gonna go on. Because you told me, oh, I'm fat and I'm fine. And I may have believed you for a second. It's on me for not losing the weight. But F you for even lying to me. F you. You got nothing for me no more. Don't ever talk to me. Don't speak to me. As far as I'm concerned, you're a fraud and a fake. And I don't need people like you in my life. I need people who want to help me and say, Trey, you need to get it together. Your life is not going to be as good if you stay this way. Not necessarily I'm going to die. I may or may not. But at the same time, this ain't helping me live. That's what I need to hear. That's a true friend. Not these fake chumps out here telling me I'm not fat. And oh, okay, you're, you're good. Man, screw you, dude. And don't ever speak to me again. 
clown. Sorry. Got a little hype there, but that's just the truth. It's just the truth. Bunch of goofy dummies running around saying that kind of stuff. And I, you know, I'm not even calling them goofy and dummy. But I am saying stop doing that. Please stop enabling people. If you really care about somebody, I do not mean go troll people. That's even that's that's just as despicable. You don't have to go tell somebody you're fat and you're gonna die, you know. But I mean, it may be necessary if it's your friend, but don't go up to strangers. But you you need to go to people and be like, look, if it's your true friend, be like, look, you're you're getting a little big, man, and I care about you, dog. And I think it's just like you would do with a drug addict. Be like, I think this is kind of screwing your life, screwing your life up. You used to be so playful. You used to come around and go outside, go for walks, go go to with us on trips. And now you can barely fit in the plane seat. You can't even sit in the booth at the restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, I can hear how hard it is for you to breathe. You can't even do a push up. Like dog. Like I'm not telling you that you, you have to be an athlete, but you can't be this. And I think that's another problem with people who are obese or overweight they kind of get that same thing like they think they have to be an athlete no just lose the weight that doesn't mean you got to be a football player doesn't mean you got to go outside and run because that's not everybody but it's i promise you if you just run a ceo job or if you just work at a call center your health being better still makes you a better worker because you can you can you don't have to go on breaks as much you can move around. You'll have more energy. You'll be able to think more clearly. You're not thinking about food all day. You're not <sighs> just out of breath from being alive. That's the kind of stuff that matters. It just makes your overall quality of life better. It doesn't make you better than anybody. Like morally, like your soul ain't going to be better, but you do have more value to society. You do. That's just the honest truth. If somebody's like, man, could you go run for me for charity? Are they going to pick you or the person who can barely walk because of their weight? Because of their weight. Come on. You know what I mean? People are going to be more apt to be like, hey, uh, you know, I noticed you can do these kind of things. You think you can climb up there or you think you can do this or you think you can do that? People are going to go to people. People <laughs> think about this. People have to make accommodations for people like me or obese people. I have to go get on the bigger chair when it comes to, uh, what do you call it? Disney World rides or stuff like that. They, I, my, now I could personally, I probably, I can fit in a plane seat because I'm short, so I'm a smaller guy. But nonetheless, if I'm a big old obese person and I gotta take up two plane seats, people gotta accommodate me. I can't go to certain stores and shop because the place would have to accommodate me to put on certain clothes. I'm just saying, I don't want to live my life being accommodated for. I don't need nobody backing me up. I don't want people to make excuses for me neither. I just don't want that. I'm over it. I'm completely over it. So that's it. That's just what I'm feeling. Anyway, peace.